Refuges for Victim Amazon Amerindians and Inhabitants of the Amazon Forest, 1. Why Refuges and Who Needs Refuges, 1. When threats to existence and to quality of life are not solved, more victims of all kinds of calamities and of the perfect storm and more migrations will arise and more suited refuges must be prepared, PDB proposes itself as one of these suited refuges. The Amazon Amerind Forest and the Amazon Amerindians are kind of one thing, and both are chronically and systematically threatened in their existence for centuries and possibly much longer. Since the Amazon region is an unusual environment and the lifestyle of the Amerinds is unusual too, we non-Amerindians do not recognize, and possibly do not want to see the threats and loss of quality of life that threatens the Amerindians and the forest. Non-Amerindians do not recognize the important role the Amazon Amerinds played in the deep past, to a much lesser extent still play today or could play to the full in the future protecting the Amazon forest, global climate and existence. The Amazon is very rich in sought after resources. Our lifestyles are without doubt materialistic, this whether someone is vegetarian or not, so if nothing changes our system, we will go on, in our names, to be greedy, go on grabbing and will have no mercy, humanity, towards Amerindians and the Amazon forest, just like Hitler had no mercy with Jews but also the rest of the world, and incentivated his people to go after Lebensraum, nice wording for going to war, taking it from the world by war. It is what Putin is doing, and at least in part and in a way what the United Nations is doing, which is a claim of Putin. So we seem to be heading to a World War III that inevitably will dwarf WW2 and WW1. The two parties or axes already are much more extensive than during both former world wars. The thing is that the Amazon forest will be grabbed, and destroyed, more subtly and in a way more difficult for us to see and to point out. Simultaneously with the destruction of the Amazon forest, the Amerindians will be genocide. At the same time we claim that the destruction of the Amazon forest and the Amazon Amerindians is a marker for the extinction of us, 8 billion non-Amerindian people, modern humans. All modern humans are guilty or responsible for this, and as an extreme example of this claim we will look at vegans and meat-eaters. Consensus, as most vegans, think and claim vegans do not destroy or at least do their part. In theory this claim is correct, for now, but we will argue and prove that in reality vegans also destroy and in cases destroy more than non-vegans. Vegans blame the meat-eaters for all of the kind of destruction they recognize, especially in the case of the Amazon forest and maybe also in the case of the Amazon Amarins, but vegans do not consider all the forms of destruction that is going on, and certainly not their own part in all the forms of destruction that is going on. Vegans are not part of the problem and part of the solution, if vegans, vegetarians and the young people in general, would consume food and materials from enriched agroforests, they would not be part of the problem, they would be part of the solution instead, just as most of them think. But they do not recognize, yet, the potential of enriched agroforests or ADE agroforests, because information is not yet available, also because it is not recognized, and do not look for any further solution, nor have or practice any concrete action plan, that would involve ADE agroforests, because they think they do enough, this while it is obvious that things are not going well. The vegans just go on being vegan and eventually are active in blaming others, which is not an action plan and obviously will not work nor solve. As long as vegans, etc., and activists do not recognize ADE agroforests or what the Amazon forest really is nothing will happen and disasters will go on to increase in frequency and severity, until extinction. Forests tell us and we should not demand. They and all humans need to learn that it is not us that can decide what is best for forests and the planet, but that it are the forests and agroforests that will tell us what kind of food and materials they can deliver or what is more advantageous for them to deliver, together with their climate regulating functions. We just need to read what the forest tells us, this by means of permanent sample plots research, because no person can correctly read the forests without monitoring and such permanent sample plots research. In other words the solutioning forests will tell us how much not meat and how much meat is advantageous for them to deliver. The day that vegans, and activists for that matter, understand and recognize the potential of enriched agroforests. To be clear, enriched agroforests are ADE agroforest, ancestral technique focused on creating deep soils that created the Amazon forest, and are not equal to tree planting or actual agroforests as we see them in the media. Vegans would change their actual, also guilty, status to the status of being a part of the solution. In other words vegans today also being guilty would become models of solutioning threats to all humans and solutioning the creation of refugees and its consequential need for refuges. Refugees should be safe havens and such safe havens long became rare and go on diminishing, and what we have left is not respected nor preserved. The PDB refuge that launches this proposal is not respected and in fact threatened just because it is a refuge, 
model, reserve, actively preserving including sea turtles. This claim would be easy to prove, but only serves as a recall, as proving this claim at this point does not fit in the objective of this video. When PDB became quite notorious as a reserve and refuge, PDB was systematically prejudiced and seen by some as an object for opportunistic behavior, with systematic crimes against its preservation efforts and work, as well as against its refuge function, etc. Focus on climate challenges will lead to extinction. Focus on CO2 and temperature will not avoid migration and extinction, those that do are also guilty. Loss and destruction and the consequential number of migrants and refugees are exponential and probably explosive. IT will lead up to extinction if we go on seeing it as just as or mainly as climate challenges, change or warming. The whole process of loss and destruction is starting to take place in an exponential or explosive fashion. Apart from being an exponential process, every loss and destruction will leave the area or case more vulnerable. In the case of floods topsoils are destroyed, the same for deforestation and fires. Topsoil will not recover naturally. With less topsoil any land will be more vulnerable next time, extreme. As an example RS in Brazil can be used, it was a rich and thriving state as well as a model in many ways, and with any future exceptional rain it once again will become a place of an irreversible cascade of loss, destruction and problems that makes it a place where people die in horrific ways, this while just days before they were thriving, modern, rich and examples of modernity. Unlike the Amazon forest, RS is no climate-driving region or environment, and the size of the disaster area is insignificant to the size of the Amazon region and forest. The area of RS is 30 times more than Belgium, which is roughly 1,000 times less than the Amazon region. Playing with division blaming and consequently existence. We humans are playing with division, blaming and with fire, and soon all humans will be victims in one way or another, except there is no planet B to refuge to, and some kind of cruel extinction of billions of humans will become the irreversible case. Long before such extinction, and on top of victims and migrations, several wars or a world war will happen and this world war will dwarf all former wars and world wars. The wars and epidemics already going on will hasten and aggravate all forms of calamities, with the collapse of the Amazon forest as a neglected chronic and a marking centerpiece. Divide, blame others and create refugees or become refugees. No war before this eventual WW3 presented the supposed deterrence of a nuclear wearer. There were no missiles and certainly no hypersonic ones, and the power of the bombs was insignificant. The bombs were delivered by slow planes that would not get away in the case of larger bombs. In comparison to the actual number and power of missiles and bombs, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs are marginal, and the urbanization was marginal in the light of a global nuclear winter. A need exists for refuge and shelter for young people, victims, of the man-made degeneration and invasion of the Amazon forest and the poisoning of the Amazon Amerindians in Brazil, French Guiana, Suriname, etc. Need for and safe refuge. It makes not much sense, or could turn out to be destructive, to offer a refuge that is not safe but instead prone to some kind of disaster, which we know are increasing, so the refuge must be a safe refuge or a safe destination. The refuge must also offer quality of life, and if possible, job, opportunities, etc. PDB safe destination. The here proposed refuge and shelter is a smaller part of the PDB, Paraiso do Brasil, safe destination in our end Brazil, that is dedicated to refuge. This is video 1 of a series of videos. Please subscribe and click for a related video. Thank you very much for watching and passing the link of this video and other videos to others.